welcome. My name is Andrew, Business Development Manager at Achieve TMS East. Uh, today, we're very excited to be opening our newest TMS facility in Natick. Uh, this will be our 15th TMS Center in Massachusetts. And we're very excited about bringing this technology to Natick and being able to work with providers throughout the Natick and Framingham area. Today, for, at our grand opening, our agenda will entail of our Director of Operations speaking, uh, just saying a few words about our services coming to the area. Then we'll be going through a presentation and then we'll be doing a brief demonstration of our TMS machine. At this time, I would like to introduce our Director of Operations, Marjorie Pierce. Thank you, Andrew. It's nice to be with everybody virtually. Uh, it, would be, it would be much nicer to be uh, together but COVID has other uh, has made other decisions for us right now. So um, I want to thank you all uh, for listening in and being part of this. Um, we're really excited to be bringing this innovative treatment to the Natick Framingham area. As Andrew said, we have sites throughout Massachusetts and Connecticut, and it's important to us to bring these sites to different communities because as many of you know, depression and anxiety is a serious problem, um, often not discussed, but is, is a problem in our communities. And this treatment is life-changing for many people. It's also something that when people get it, they need to come daily. And so for us being able to be in various communities throughout Massachusetts allows for accessibility um, to both uh, clients and providers who want to refer uh, their clients for this particular treatment. So we're grateful to be there. We look forward to collaborating uh, with all of you in the Natick and Framingham and other communities surrounding um, to provide this, uh, in many cases, life-changing treatment for people. And um, we, you know, we're, we're just psyched to be here. So thank you all for your time. And I pass it back to Andrew. All right, thank you so much, Margie. Uh, before we get into our little presentation, I'm actually gonna invite our TMS technician up here and we're gonna do a little ribbon cutting, uh, just virtually, we always do these at our opening. So we just want to, uh, you know, continue their tradition with a little ribbon cutting here. <clears throat> Megan? Okay. All right, we're gonna just do it right in front of our TMS room. And we are very excited about joining the area. And let me just get through it. Woo! All right, all. Now we're gonna go into the TMS room and we're gonna bring you through a presentation and a demonstration of the machine. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring you through a treatment day for a patient. Uh, the first, uh, first thing we're gonna start off with is this cap. Uh, this cap is used for every patient for hygiene purposes. And the second reason is these coordinates on the side. Uh, these coordinates are used for their first appointment, uh, the cortical mapping. Uh, we're going to assume we've already done the cortical mapping, so we can just get right into our treatment today. And what it looks like is our technician will ask a series of questions just to check the seizure threshold of our patient to make sure they're doing okay today. Once that's all said and done, we will then place the cap on their head. <clears throat> Once we place the cap on their head, we then strap them in. It's pretty. We get the cap on pretty tight for them. Each patient will also get earplugs for treatment. Uh, we do require every patient to have earplugs during treatment. The machine does make some noise, uh, but we do require the earplugs to be wear, worn. All right, so it looks like Megan is all in with the cap. Megan, how is that? Good, feels good. Nice all and right. Light. So we then set up the machine for her TMS treatment. And then we put the helmet on using these coordinates here. We're going to assume her coordinates are 17 and 5. So I'm going to come down with the helmet and place the helmet on those coordinates. Once the helmet's placed on their head, we then pull a chin strap down. Megan, could you hold that for me? Thank you so much. We then strap them into the helmet.
We strap in the helmet, make sure it's on those coordinates. We then tighten the helmet and then we're going to start treatment. The way treatment works is we're going to do a little countdown and then we're going to start sending the pulses to Megan's head. Three, two, one. 